I'm Frank Rogers, welcome back to my cartoon style illustration series. Now in the first episode I showed you how to draw simple cartoon faces. In this episode I'm going to show you how to put expressions on those faces. Now the simplest expression to draw of course is the blank expression. <laughs> Sorry about that. Now here's a tip when you're drawing expressions, look in the mirror. For instance, if you're surprised, what happens? Well, your eyebrows shoot up, your eyes open wide, your mouth perhaps a little O-shape. Boy, I'm surprised. <laughs> okay, so that's what we'll do at the drawing board. I'll show you how to draw a few expressions. And then we'll move to the easel, and I'll show you how to put those expressions on cartoon characters. Okay, so let's do it. Before we do, of course, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Okay, expressions. Now I've drawn that simple head shape again that I did in the first session uh, three times because we're going to have three expressions. Now the first one here, um, surprise expression. Now as I said, your eyes open wide, so we'll draw nice big round eyes. Very like the eyes we drew uh, right at the beginning when we're drawing simple cartoon faces. So nice big open eyes like that. Okay, with the eyeballs in the middle. Difference here, of course, is that the eyebrows will shoot up. So they'll be up here. You add the eyebrows. What difference that makes? Now, just add a simple nose shape, like that. Other than mouth, an O shape, small O shape, like that. Oh, uh, I'm surprised, or help my bulb, <laughs> as my granny used to say. Okay, now moving on to this character here, we have uh, an angry expression. Now again, if you look in the mirror, you'll notice that your eyebrows pull down in the centre, like that, you know, and slope up the way. And the eyes themselves will appear just under them, as if you're looking out from underneath their eyebrows, like that. And another one here, coming in there, and put in the eyeballs, on there, like that. Aha, he's looking mean. And the nose again. And you finish off the expression by turning the mouth down like that. Yeah, more an angry face. Great. The next one here, well, let's try dejection or somebody who's fed up. Again, look in the mirror and you notice your eyebrows go up towards the centre, not down. Like that. And the eyes again will appear from underneath. Give a pretty sad expression, really. Like that. Uh, Oh dear. <laughs> and then the nose, very simple nose again. And I'm a very similar to that one, only perhaps put to one side slightly. You go, mm, like that. So we've got surprise or anger, and we have a despondency, if you like. Okay, now we are going to move on from this, and we're going to create more characters with these expressions. And we're going to do that at the easel, so let's go. Okay, as you can see, I've drawn the three expressions that we did a moment ago and a little tricky expression down here which I'll talk about at the end. Right, let's put some characters to these expressions, okay? Now imagine that this uh, character here is a scientist who has just discovered that she has found out the answer to a problem, mathematical problem that's been bothering her for a long time. And the reason she's so surprised is that it was right under her nose all the time. Okay, so we'll finish off by drawing her chin. Now that, there we are. Well, very surprised scientist. Now this uh, angry expression here, which also looks a bit mean, I think I'll turn into a super villain. Okay, so we have top of the head coming in like this. And perhaps a little shape like that. We add a uh, pointed shape there, part of wing kind of shape, and then we have pointed ears to complement that. Okay, and maybe a couple of cheekbones in here. Oh, by the way, if you notice that I've uh, changed the nose slightly by adding nostrils there, because when you're angry, your nostrils tend to flare, so that's why that's there. Now, the mouth I haven't put in, you know, the downturned mouth, because I want to open the mouth out and have it as like a gritted teeth expression. So I would draw something like this. Like that, the mouth coming down with the line of the teeth in the centre and then the teeth coming down like that. Yeah, great. Now finish off by putting in 
the big super villain chin. They all seem to have these big chins, don't they? And then a little bottom like that. Okay, so there's our superhero, the villain. Now down here we have a very fed up looking character. This is a young guy who went to the barbers and did not get the haircut he wanted. He fell asleep. I never made up grow. So here we are at the top of his head coming down here, like that, down to his ears, like that, in simple ears. And I finish off by drawing a little square chin shape, like that. All right. Now, to this strange expression here, you'll notice that one eyebrow comes down and the other one goes up, and that gives a slightly scheming expression, I think, especially if you add a carving smile like that. Like, aha, this character has just found something out. So, I'm going to imagine that this is a warrior princess who just found out a way to defeat her enemy. So, I put her crown in like this, low down on her forehead, and then I will add in the hair coming in like that, parted in the middle, coming down, and you can see it appearing under the crown there, and flowing out on either side of her face like that. Okay, and then finish off by adding the, the chin shape. Like that, then we have the Scheming Warrior Princess. Okay, we have four expressions there, but of course there are many more expressions, which you'll have fun trying out for yourself. Look in the mirror, try them out. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this session and hope to see you in the next one. And if you have, hit that subscribe button. In the meantime, all the best and happy drawing.